attention span and the time that we have to dedicate to reviewing that resume is very short. So you have to make an impact right away with your resume. Right. And so one of my tips is to make your resume clean and concise looking. And it doesn't always have to be one page. A lot of people say, oh, I have to keep my resume to one page or else it's going to be rejected by the computer bot. That's not necessarily the case. If you have really strong, relevant experience, a two page resume is fine. The, the key is to make sure that the information on your resume is relevant, it's specific, and it's concise. So uh, th that would be my one suggestion is to, to really look at your resume objectively and avoid vague terms like, uh, I managed a team. And you know, for, for what type of team did you manage and how large was the team and what were you managing? What type of project? What was the budget? What was the outcome? If you can include some specifics like that, rather than just saying led teams or managed processes, you have to outline a little bit of information specifically on what that team consisted of, what the process was, how you saved the company money, uh, things of that sort. So that's important. And also, we don't necessarily need a lot of information about why you're a great candidate and why we should hire you and that statement that people usually put at the top of their resume. It's usually some sort of a statement as to how great you are. <laughs> um, I would rather see the information on your employment history in a concise way than a, a statement about how, how good you are and what you have to offer. So you're I, I just talking about that people put on the top Right. You know, uh, certified professional HR uh, director, multitasking, multi, you know, what a, in, critical thinker. People put all those things up at the top. You're saying you don't really read those, right? You go right to. I, right. I, if you're going to put that, it's not a bad thing, uh, but you should keep it short, maybe two lines. Okay. Some people do a whole paragraph summary of all of their information. You can have a separate section, uh, especially if you ex have experience, a separate section at the bottom of your resume that lists your certifications, your education, and so forth. If mm -hmm. you're a new candidate, then you would put that information at the top. If you're a new graduate or you have just a year or two of experience, then you should list that at the top. But if you're an experienced person, certifications education should go at the bottom but also a lot of people leave things out like dates of employment um, which is important to see sort of the time you've spent in the position if you were promoted what the progression of your experience was to show that you were progressively taking on more and more right. experience and responsibility that's important to show so an updated resume is really crucial and a lot of times people wait until they're out of work to update their resume and if you haven't changed jobs for 10 years then it may be difficult to go back and think about all the accomplishments you had in that 10 years and you're going to want to at least once a year get in the habit of updating your resume list the accomplishments you had that year and you can always revise it or cut it back if you need to but just a, sort of a running draft of your resume you should do every year when you have your performance review, for example, you should update mm -hmm. your resume with any awards, new certifications and so on. So you don't have to go back and try to recreate 10 years of experience, you know, all of a sudden when it's time to look for a job. So up, keeping your resume updated is really important. Okay. So I love this. These are like secrets of the recruiter. You right. Know, we I, have short attention spans. And okay. That's a great secret. Hundreds of resumes. <laughs> right. So you have to make an impact. And if your resume is, uh, it has to just get right to the point right away. And, uh, and just know that a, a human is reviewing your resume. So it's not always about, you know, the keywords and putting in uh, fancy language. It, you really have to get specific and know that we are looking at your resume. We are reading it. It's not a, a robot. And uh, so it's it's not always about those keyword searches that you hear a lot about. Mm -hmm. A lot of the time it needs to be real content that's meaty, that's meaningful, and not just a bunch of buzzwords.